Hello students, how did you do your home assignment about this all week with Led Zeppelin, huh? And today we review the immigrant song from their third album that we already mentioned in our previous video. It's in 1970 and is in a decade magical and sparkly and artsy and inspirational and very free and very mm, sexy. Yes, because... Mm. <laughs> I thought I'm gonna listen remaster version, but first video it's a remaster immigrant song and second video it's uh, live 1972. Let's go for it because hmm. Many people prefer some, you know, magical shot from the best version. There are versions that just keep in a special magic, an atmosphere, unique solos or some cool pitches. But honestly, when it's something what I didn't like discover for myself because I just insanely love it like high hopes. I just afraid to choose the wrong version. It's always gonna be some people. Ah, oh, you just chose the wrong one. You need to listen to this, and it sounds like you need to record again and listen this all with another version. It's gonna change everything. It's like off the topic thing. You know how we think about our parents as somebody like, oh, when they were young, when they lived their youth, it was just completely different time and there wasn't any rebellious uh, things about them. <sighs> My parents were born in 60s and I thought, well, means they are like a youth in the 70s, early 80s and when you listen in that and seeing that huge amount of people listening that guys in that skinny flared jeans topless you know and you're like yeah and this is 70s mm? you got it or not you not okay there was a moment when Led Zeppelin performed in Iceland and it was why they refers to the land of ice and snow. Nothing like extra, nothing less. <laughs>
the solo here, right? Very endless, keep going, keep going. Immigrant song actually was inspired by a particular show. Robert Plant explained here the trip in Iceland that they had in 70s and from that trip they were inspired. We did come from the land of the ice and snow. We were a guest of the Icelandic government on a cultural mission. We were invited to play a concert in Reykjavik and the day before we arrived all the civil servants went on strike and the gig was going to be cancelled. The university prepared a concert hall for us and it was phenomenal. The response from the kids was remarkable and we had a great time. Plant recalled Immigrant Song was about that trip and it was the opening track on the album that was supposed to be something different. Robert Plant and Jimmy Page was the songwriters of the songs and it was something a little bit like funny and they wanted this to be a humorous retelling of the adventures but well there is the people who didn't like really know you that Led Zeppelin is funny band. A lot of people took the meaning in a serious way. Also do you know Google? Do you know YouTube? Netflix? Do you know Avengers? Like uh, Marvel you know? So Thor or Thor? 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 Yeah! Immigrant Song was in that movie in 2017, huh? They was very kind. And Jack Black went an extra mile to ask for permission to use this classic. Do you remember? Have you ever watched this uh, movie, School of Rock? It's very cool, very cute. <laughs> and I love, adore Jack Black. Tiny kids and he like... Ah! <laughs> He's Jack Black. He's such a cutie, cool, goody, good guy. So, as always, even though they credited only Robert Plant and Jamie Page for the songwriting, I don't understand that. This whole band. I'm gonna keep saying it in every video because drums. Did you hear the drums here? Did you hear it? What this song gonna be without these drums? So, I think it's unfair to, like, you know give a credit for not everyone, you know, it's a band. You just kind of feel unfair. I'm very happy. So guys, how do you like Immigrant Song? If you know some facts, tricks and techniques and information behind that song, let me know in the comments, let's share more. Don't be snobbish, okay? If you're gonna be snobbish and complain, we're not gonna have a deal. You just need to remember that very easy rule. It's a part of our contract, yes? Don't you know that? I'm a very serious teacher who professor an acrobat and teaching you as a class. Yes, we still have some songs to learn. And please, be a good, good boy, so I call your parents. Kiss you. Bye.